Welcome guys to the first ever Clash Royale video on this channel. Now I'm not gonna lie, this this is a pretty damn fun game and I'm also a pretty newbie at it. So what you're about to see in this episode is some of the most recent attacks and some live attacks that I've been doing over the last hour. Now please, this, this is my deck that I'm using. I know it's completely random, there's no order in it whatsoever. To be honest, it's just kind of like troops that I like using, like I like using the giants, the balloons, the witches. I like air attacks inside of this game a lot. So don't judge me when what you what you're about to see, just don't judge. That is all I can say. But you know what? I am pretty damn good at the game. Well, to be honest, I think I'm okay. So here we go, guys, making our way into the first attack. Now we are in Arena 2 inside of this match, but we have made our way into Arena 3, pushing our way up in trophies, and we are currently level 4. So the cards you can see we're using here, yes, we are using the goblin barrel. Look, I know everyone says it's newbie. But it's just so good to use. I mean, the Goblin Barrel can save you the victory. I mean, it really can get you a victory. So the, the attack strategy that I've been finding is working well for me is using a Giant and a Balloon straight away or using a Giant, a Dragon and some Skeletons straight away. So obviously the Giant's going to be the, like, the big shield, going to take most of the smacks and the Dragon and the Skeletons are going to get in there and do some damage to the first tower. Now the reason why I use the Goblin Barrel is because once the tower's nice and weak, you could, you could just chuck the Goblin Barrel at it and those little green boogers are going to do a lot of damage to the tower. In all honesty, like loads of people use the Meteor on me and I'd rather use the Goblin Barrel than the Meteor. So look, I'm pretty new to the game, obviously I've only downloaded it since the actual global launch happened a couple of days ago. Oh, Clash of Clans, get off the screen please. And in my opinion, yeah, as I said, I'm newbie at it, but I'm pretty good at taking down one tower quickly. So in all honesty, like this isn't this is being honest with you. I lose maybe one in every three or four attacks, so like one in every three or four matches. So I usually win maybe two or three out of four, which is quite good in me, in my opinion. And I do try and do like the uh, the spam attacks at the start as well. Although there is some order to it, like I don't just chuck down like a dragon and then chuck down some skeletons and stuff. I do use like big units of shields. I make sure I wait for them to space down, uh, chuck down some troops as well, just to make sure that I know what's going on inside of the map and I can counter attack at the same time. That's what I mean though, look, he's using the meteor on me. There's no real difference between the meteor and the goblin barrel. In my opinion, the meteor is worse than the goblin barrel. And the Goblin Barrel is seen as more newbie, which it probably is, but it's just so good to use. Alright, so this is where we're getting serious now, guys. We're using the best combo which I've found so far, if you use it correctly. And that is using the Giant and the Balloon at the exact same time. Send in the Giant first, follow in with the Balloon. And hey, presto, you've got yourself your first victory. So there we go, guys. We've got three cups and we are pushing up in trophies. And we've made it into arena three so here we go going in for another raid yeah it's match against well not raid it's it's kind of like 1v1 match so we've got the skeletons we're going to be using the witches now i've only just unlocked witches so i'm not really 100 percent sure about how to use them but obviously from playing clash you should really know how to use a witch so we're going to be sending in the pekka i think we got a level three or a level four pekka following in with a witch just behind and it's going to be another rush to take out that first tower on the left hand side so I did make sure that I used uh, space some minions down on the right just to make sure that I think that was his royal prince. They didn't get through and take down my tower. So obviously the game's about, about balance. You, you want to be able to take down their towers, but you don't want them to take down your towers. So you can see my attack strategy is working pretty well so far. And we managed to rush the first tower and we're already making our way onto the second tower. And we may feel like using a goblin barrel soon because look, we're doing so much damage to him. The giant's about to move in there. The witch is getting pushed out the way bloody giant but here here's trouble now we're in trouble they've got a they've got a balloon coming in and we're gonna have to try and defend against it now obviously a balloon is quite high hp in my opinion and it does take a while to take down and it does insane damage so we lost the tower by the way i forgot to mention at the start of the episode don't forget i have already done a clash of clans episode today but there is going to be another clash of clans episode after this clash royale episode on the main account so stay tuned for that so here we go guys we're going in for the final push and they have a musketeer coming out but look at the health on their main tower there chuck the goblin barrel over at him and hey presto we've done it again we've got our second victory in a row yeah, guys, it is the goblin. It is the goblin barrel. Come on, man! You got to give me a like for that. Come on! You know, you all know you love it. So let's make our way into another attack. So we're still in Arena Three, of course, and I'm afraid every like silver, every cloud has a silver lining, and this this is about time for us to lose. So I think I've won about three or four in a row at this point. Slowly moving up in trophies. So we're going to be using the giant witch combo because it didn't give me a balloon at the start. I don't think. So the giant's going to go in there, and they use a mass skeleton. Just drop down of mass skeletons. 
Obviously, they're just going to tear the giant into pieces. The witch is still alive, though. My witch is doing a great job there. And we got some minions as backup. So inside of this raid that you're watching right now, inside of this match, we actually take down their tower first. But somehow... I don't know what happens. I became greedy. I chucked a goblin barrel when I really shouldn't have because the tower had so much HP on it. And we just ended up losing our tower. So this guy came back from, from losing one of his towers straight away to actually beating me and pretty much demolishing me. So this is where the tide starts to turn and I start to get a beat down. So he's got a little mass hoard of skeletons coming in now. Now obviously we're going to drop down a baby dragon to burn those little buggers. So we're going to melt them. And then the baby dragon gets cornered. She's under attack by some chicas. Yeah, she tries to she actually takes them out as well, doesn't she? Oh no, it was close. It was close. Wasn't too wasn't too bad. We drop down some minions, gonna kill the rest of those archers off. I can't really remember what happened here. We are gonna go in for a live attack after this, by the way, guys. So it was so damn close. I and these and these bloody goblin huts are annoying. Let me know in that comment section, by the way. Is it good to use like the barbarian huts, the goblin huts, like what do you use with them or are they just used as distractions and do they produce infinite amount of goblins or do they fade away after a while because I have absolutely no idea. So we have saved 10 elixir and now we are going to drop the combo. We're going to go in with the giant and the balloon and it's going to come so damn close to the bloody center tower but we just can't do it guys. Check this. Check how close this replay gets. So look at the health from that center tower. We're going to chuck a goblin barrel over him. Got to explode on him, do a little bit of damage, but they're not going to be able to take it out. It's so damn close, but they are overrunning my tower on the left-hand side. I just completely messed it up here. I was too focused on attacking and taking out their tower because I was already winning. I should have just been defending. Remember, guys, if you are winning and there's only like 30 seconds left in the raid, don't bother trying to overrun their base. Just make sure you can defend yours. We're going in for another goblin barrel, and it's just so damn close. But it just didn't want to happen, guys. And we lost. We lost. I know. I know. It's disappointing. But don't worry about that. Do not worry about that loss. Everyone loses. And to be honest, I wasn't even going to show you this replay. But I decided to anyway because you know what? I'm honest like that. So we're going in for a live attack this time inside of an Arena 3. And this guy's making faces at me. He's making faces at me. I'm getting angry. Getting angry. And look at that. Oh, we got a balloon minions. And we got a goblin barrel and a mini P.E.K.K.A. So we're going to be using the mini P.E.K.K.A., some skeletons, and a balloon combo. And we're going to take out that left tower so damn quickly. Watch this. I guarantee it. I will guarantee that this left tower is going to fall so damn fast. Because the balloon combo with any other decent troop, any other decent card, just does so much damn damage. And the towers aren't able to handle it. So he's done good as well, though. His royal, what was it? Some barbarians? Yeah, he's, I thought it was a royal prince there. His barbarians actually moved in on my tower pretty quickly. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to try and take out his second tower on the right-hand side. Using a baby dragon and a giant combo. And then we're going to ensure that his troops aren't going to come and take out my tower on the left as well. So we're going to take out that prince there with those minions. And now we're moving in onto his base. So we've got a goblin barrel at the ready if we do need it. And it looks like we are going to be using what we're going to have to send in here. We're on his main tower. His second one hasn't been taken out yet. But we do have the goblin barrel. So here comes his mini P.E.K.K.A. we got loads of skeletons and a witch there ready to take him down. That P.E.K.K.A. isn't going anywhere. And they've just lightninged my second tower. What is going on? Come on, we're going to need to get the victory here. Come on, Tony. So the witch, the skeletons, the baby dragon are moving in onto his second tower. And it's about to go down. Tony, I can smell the victory. It's coming. He's still winning, though. Damn, he's actually still winning. But there it is, guys. The notorious Goblin Barrel. And it manages to take down the second tower. There we go. And now we can move in for the full kill on the main final King's Tower. Come on, that is going down so damn fast now. We got minions. We got the wheel. Oh, the witch is gone. Witch is dead. Witch is dead. Don't worry about it, though, guys. Don't worry about it. His tower's on a little bit smaller health than mine, I would say. But we're about to use a big boy combo here. Going to be using the giant and the skeletons just to back up the giant. Now, now the, the, the skeletons are only one elixir. So you really don't really... You can use them with anything, to be honest with you. Just obviously don't use them if there is a baby dragon in the vicinity. Oh, my God. Look how close this is. We've done it. Yes, we've done it. We've done it, guys. I kind of spammed the last bit there. Give him a little smile. Thanks for that, mate. Yes, we got the victory. Three out of four, we won. So not too bad. So if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please smash a like down below. Let's go for 500 likes on this episode. Don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. We are doing a Clash video in about two hours' time. So I will see you very shortly for that. Let me know what cards you are using in that comment section. Peace out.